everyone, here with another Make Caracam tutorial video. And this one we're looking at how to create threaded holes using your desktop CNC by creating a three-dimensional thread milling toolpath around a three-dimensional file. Now in order to create a 3D thread milling toolpath, you need to have a 3D part file like this and specifically a three-dimensional step file as step files will allow us to select the individual faces and features within our design. We also look at how to create two-dimensional thread milling toolpaths in another one of our tutorial videos, and that can be done around a simple two-dimensional hole that's created either in your design or even by being drawn with the create features, again, something that we chat about in our other tutorial videos. Now, when we say thread milling, what that actually describes is a threaded hole, and you can use your desktop CNC's such as your Carvera or Carvera Air to create threaded holes in holes that have already been drilled on your different parts. And that of course allows you to easily thread in different screws and hardware into your projects, which is a really cool thing that you can create with your desktop CNC's such as these. So the first step to creating a thread milling toolpath is to identify what size thread you need based upon the hardware that you're gonna use. So for example, I would like to use M3 screws, so I need to create M3 threads. Now, if you take a look at the tool library, and if you head over to the thread milling collection, you'll see that we have preloaded thread milling bits for what's provided in the MakeCare store. And if you click on the size bit that you'd like to use based upon the screws you're gonna use, such as for example, M3, which is the size screw I'd like to use, you'll notice that there is a hole diameter that needs to be created for this thread milling bit. So you'll see that I need to create a 2.5 millimeter hole in order for the M3 threads to be able to be created. You can also visit our wiki site to learn more about thread milling parameters under the speeds and feeds selection, as well as learning more about the thread milling bits we offer and support in the MakeCare store. Now looking at my design, I know that these holes are in fact 2.5 millimeters, so I shouldn't run into any problems here. But if you attempt to create threads in a hole that's too small for the thread milling bit, you'll receive an error saying that the thread milling bit cannot fit within the holes based upon the design that you're trying to work with. Now, before we can create our thread milling toolpaths, we actually need to drill these holes. So let's create a three-dimensional drilling operation where I'm going to select the bottom of each of my holes in the design by selecting the bottom face here. And the depth of this drilling operation will be predetermined by the hole depth as we talk about in our 3D drilling tutorial video if you wanna learn more about specific drilling operations. I need to select the correct size drill bit for my M3 threads, which as we've already established is a 2.5 millimeter drill bit. If needed, I could change my feeds and speeds depending on what I'm doing, as well as enable a retract. And again, we talk more about these things in the 3D drilling tutorial video. And then I can create my drilling operations to drill out these holes. With the holes drilled, we can now create a thread milling toolpath within the holes that have been drilled. So to do this, I'm gonna deselect the faces and then create a 3D thread toolpath. For thread milling, you don't select the bottom of the hole, but instead select the cylinder of each hole. So I'm going to select the cylinder within the hole and just orbit around here so you can see that I've actually selected the cylinder bodies of each hole, like so. The end depth will be predetermined by the depth of the hole, but if you want to offset it, for example, not threading all the way down to the bottom, you can add an end depth offset. You can also adjust your clearance heights if you want to work around any clamps or fixtures that you might have on your bed, and then determine the thread type. For example, is it a left-handed thread or right-handed thread? Are you repeating the threads or creating a multi-layer thread? And that would, of course, depend on the types of screws and fasteners that you're looking to secure within the threads that you're creating. Next, you can select your thread milling bit based on the size threads you want to create. So again, in my case scenario, I want to create M3 threads. And you'll notice that the parameters are set not only based upon the stock, such as plastic, but also based upon the size threads. So the thread pitch here was predetermined based upon the pitch for M3 threads. And again, this is something that's preloaded within our tool library. And also the information for this is available on our wiki site and in the MakeCare store around the thread milling bits that we provide. If you wanna adjust your, your speed and your feed rates off the defaults, you of course can do that quite easily. And you wanna make sure that this tool number is assigned to wherever the tool is located in the automatic tool changer for your Carvera, or just make sure that it's not the same number as a tool that's already being used for your Carvera or Carvera Air. Once your parameters are set, you can click calculate and you should see your threaded toolpaths. And that's all there is to it to create a 3D thread milling operation within MakeCare Cam. You first need to identify the size threads that you need based upon the hardware that you're gonna use for your project. Then drill your holes using the correct size drill bit based upon the size threads that you wanna create. 
and then apply a thread milling toolpath using the correct thread milling bit. Again, if you try to use a thread milling bit that's too large for the hole that you're looking to create, Make Hair Cam will warn you that the thread milling bit will not fit within that hole, but it's always important that you check your feeds, your speeds, and your thread milling parameters to ensure that you'll have good success as you create thread milling toolpaths within your CNC projects. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay tuned for more tutorials and guides on the Make Care channel and Wiki site.